All right, so what do I have in front of me? I have Book and Chanel at CEO. Uh, haven't seen this match. I saw quite a bit uh, of a tournament, but this match I missed. And apparently something interesting happened. So we're going to see what that is. Uh, Mason Ra, thanks so much for subbing, man. I think I missed thanking you. And that is a big shame. So big thanks, dude. Yeah, actually, uh, I we're gonna move my webcam a little bit. And so, is the audio all right? Uh, you can hear me, I hope, I at least. I mean, that's the most important. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't hope think Aris he is, is. But anyone else that is restreaming this? Uh, thank you so let's go. To our game right now. Uh, Book, of course, playing uh, Jin as he always does. <laughs> the complete opposite of me, who counterpicks all the time. But I think like most, a lot of the players have two characters. It's quite. Quite rare to see these uh, character enthusiasts who stick with one one character no matter what. Uh, I mean, Chanel plays Eliza, Alyssa, mostly Alyssa, but he also plays Eliza, right? Oh, what a whiff punish. Big damage. Yes, and that's it. Down for four. Alyssa's down for four. Such a great mid poke. You have to be careful, man. These guys have studied. Nice. These guys have played nice each other block. before. This is the top 32 winners. Not even oh, that's top right. Jin only gets while signing four yeah. there. Matches are top eight he doesn't get while signing four four. Not only that, right now, these guys One tiny oh little God. weakness <laughs> there on Jin. The but while signing four into oh, pressure, it's really strong. It is there. plus eight. Oh, nice parry. Nice parry. Put nice block, forward four pressure, like big oh, yeah, forward four three, and that's it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, right. there we go. Right. <laughs> nice. Okay, one one in rounds. Chanel, it's worth pointing out that Chanel played extremely well at this tournament. I mean, he's always one of the best, but I feel like. Uh, in some way, yeah, he kicked it up a notch this options, tournament. It was just a little too early, out of range. No. Right now, Chanel. Chanel's game plan. I mean, what we've been seeing so far. Okay, chain. Wow. <laughs> it's nice to see a player of Book's caliber get uh, so gimmick cheesed out by chainsaws. It makes me. It makes me feel a slightly bit better about myself eating chainsaws for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and dessert. Big electric. It's gonna be wall. But for breakfast, four for two, sick. Don't count out Chanel. Okay, yeah, uh, that's gonna be hard for Chanel to climb game, back up after when it comes to when it comes to uh, that massive fucking lead. The shit out of us. Right? You hear me? Oh, nice, uh, nice side see this. Oh no! What happened? Pause it. Something. That's in tournament yeah. mode. It's in tournament mode. Okay. Uh, uh, what the let fuck? Him let him restart. Let him restart. Let him restart. Two rounds of peace. Let him restart. Uh, uh, let, let me tell the deal. All right. All right. Go handle that. Yeah, That's fucking that embarrassing. Two rounds apiece. I think they're telling him to go ahead. I think that happened think in one other match I saw in pools. Oh. Signal lost. I, I saw sure that before. Right Not sure what happened right there. Yeah, exactly. This was the second time that happened. Oh, that's gotta be so embarrassing for the organizers. I also noted while watching the tournament that the stream on Twitch would die. Like, once in a while, it would go, go out. And they had to like okay, relaunch it again. In the middle of matches, it would just go out, oh and you would goodness. miss like rounds. I'm telling you, man. Gotta start sweating there when you're the organizer. Like, I hate to say it. LT Jin, what's up? You know, usually when the power goes out for something, it's because there's too much energy. <laughs> yeah, too many electrics. Well, I mean, if I was there playing, doing electrics, the power would never go out. The signal would never die because the amount of electric sparks that, sparks that come from these uh, these guns here, Jesus. But either way, man, I can't believe that. Imagine having that very uh, intense match, and then suddenly you take a two-minute break like this. Okay, so here we go, final round. 
Ooh, nice combo. Yeah, back to one. Down back to two, two, three. Back fast. Oh, rolls the down too. Nice. Oh, nice. But he huge lead for Book here. Can second. Chanel come back from this? Oh my God. And immediately there, you see the strength of Jin. Oh no. No! This is an eight hour stream and I just hit back. You know, usually when the power goes out for something. Alright, guys, here we go. We're about to start it off. Okay. Let's switch it back. But here, I just wanted to show, like, uh, the buff to Season 2 Jin, his standing 4. <laughs> you see? You try and sidestep, standing 4, and then it just complements forward 4 so perfectly. So perfectly. The only thing you can do versus forward 4 is sidewalk it. And then he has standing for it to counter hit launch you, or at the very least clip you, standing hit, for plus 8 and some damage. It's, uh, it's just crazy. Even at the highest level, like, what does he use? Standing 4, forward 4. Those two alone are can carry Jin so far. And then you take a look at the rest of his move list and you reala realize he has about 50 other amazing moves. You have to think in three dimensions, bro. Three dimensions. So right now, look at he's kind of sealed away his moves. Okay, so one zero to book. He's using the homing moves. He's trying to let him know, like, you ain't going nowhere. Oh, man. But see, that's the thing. Chanel can wait. He can back that. Look, Chanel will wait. One. Two, him having an entire stage behind him is... Wow, Definitely okay, not Chanel, uh, he's not right joking anymore. Outpoke. Oh, 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 oh my fucking god. Oh. Nice combo. Oh, yes. Gets the Oki. Nice <laughs> if he would have gotten that hell sweep, he would have gotten the comeback. That would have been so sick. The hell sweep is gonna not only hurt your opponent, it's gonna mess him up mind wise. Like, low parry. Standing three into the back three to stabilize the combo. Respects the get up. She has a special get up, so you sometimes it's probably smarter to oh, do that. Oh, you know, oh shit. Out. That hit combo? standing? That looks like a combo. It might as well be. Let me get two and let me get an extra prize. Nice right. forward forward three. Using it as right. okay he's, tool. He's trying, to, he's trying to catch him on the noggin. He's using that forward forward three. But Yo. Book, he's going to have to pull something out here. Look oh. at the down four four usage coming from Book. And it's even though Chanel's at the life at disadvantage, I feel like he's in control right now. His backdash, his open. His there we go. There's the rage drive. Everyone's just waiting for the Alyssa rage drive. So powerful. Book knows that Chanel knows it as well. He's gonna try a little harder to open. Oh, no launch. Nice, nice block. He hasn't been seen. We haven't been seeing a lot of the four fours coming from Book, but when he did. Right there, closes out the round. One it's round scary piece too. in the second game. Because that down three has like, you know, a built-in mission. Is he going to finish it? Damn, I, ha I hate watching infinite stages. Yeah. But I just want to see someone end up at the wall right. and then crazy pressure. It's like, like here, but you can always just backdash oh, away. Point blank. That's a 12 frame move. That's so fast. Nice punish. Okay. Slow. Oh, huge electric to the face. Beautiful punish, and with the micro dash. I mean, it is one of the best gins for a reason, right? Yeah, I agree, Mark, man. One of the best. But there are a lot of great gins today. I mean, the, the competitive scene gin list, I mean, how long is it? Book, it's Run It Black, Ni, Shikurin, Sora, that guy from, uh, is it Saudi Arabia? Um, and I've missed someone. I think there, there's more. Oh, Cherry Berry Mango. Oh shit, how do you miss him? Nice. Okay, yeah, even in rounds now. But Book is up one match. Oh yeah. Quick sidestep with a punish. Quick poke, right? Punish, down back four to answer back. Tries to get an electric. No. Life lead in favor of Chanel right now. But there are many gym players. Oh, nah, there we go. Launch punish. There are many gym players for a reason. He's... He's fun to play, he's very rewarding and difficult, but in season two he's just a little bit too strong. No! Man, what is going on? What is going on? Alright guys, give us a second here. 
That's so embarrassing. In the same match, it happened twice. How do you say that as a commentator? I would just go like. We capture this exact moment. They might have to replay the entire last round, but the biggest blow here is going to be the momentum. Yeah, man. Well, that's what happens here. I mean, we don't know what's going on, but the biggest blow here is going to be the momentum. Yeah, no kidding. Like, yeah. Uh, Looks like you're getting the round and then no signal and then we're gonna reset it by the way. You know that round where you did really well? Let's reset that round. You know, they have a full opportunity in the last round again just to not kill that momentum. I mean it sucks that they're gonna have to go back into it, but we're gonna make sure that things are perfect. Oh my god. I think we should take a break, in all honesty. I think we should take a break and reset the systems or something, because there's no point in continuing to try to keep Oh my god, this is terrible. And we're not sure what the problem is, so. Yeah, well, obviously we might have to swap out the console just to make sure, but either way. I mean, if you could see, it's, it's, we're Jesus, so sick, that so is so, so embarrassing. It has to be something else. Yep. What is happening? Is it the capture card fucking up? No, it's the computer, I guess, that's picking up the signal. Nah. Is the cable rusty? It says no signal. It's not the game, is it? I don't think it's we don't know. There's a lot of factors, but there's a lot of matches coming up. You know, we are obviously on the winner side of our top 16 yes. qualifiers. You know, on the loser side, this is the the crazy side because you know, I mean, this the tournament can end for any one of these players. This is where they all, all also have to fill the time with commentary. They were expecting to have a match to commentate on, and then suddenly, impromptu break. D do something. Just talk. And now they're recapping everything we're gonna get to watch, rather than focusing on the technical mishap. A good match, regardless. But I feel like this definitely. I feel like it's the NASCAR feeling now, especially when you have. These guys are such pros. Like Tasty Steve, Markman, Rip. I mean, personally, I never. Best. Tekken commentators on the planet. They are just natural. But I guess a lot is routine. I mean, these guys have been doing this for a long time. Uh, you, you never go wrong watching Mark, Man, Steve, or Rick. All three of them, they, they can literally carry anything. You could watch the shittiest tournament, and those three guys would entertain you. No problem. It's just one of those things where you're like, you know, validation, we made it this far, baby. Exactly, exactly. So I think we're still, I guess, we, so no break, we're just going to keep going. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> All, right. All right, guys, we're going to be back with some more Tekken 7 action live from CEO 2019. Would you like to be a commentator? No, uh, I would not want to be a commentator. I think it's grueling work. Uh, very difficult. Uh, very... Um, Long hours, you know, just sitting on a chair and after 50 matches, are you still gonna sound passionate, energetic, you know, and will you have something interesting to say after the 15th game? Uh, I think it's very difficult and it's very, people are very ungrateful as well. People don't understand how hard it is and if you look at a chat, people are merciless. It's always like, ah, oh, shitty commentating, you suck, suck a dick, this commentator, might as well run him over. And on the other end is one guy who's being watched by thousands of people doing his best trying to do some commentary and It's super difficult and you got to be 10 out of 10. You can't have a weak moment If you have just one weak moment during those five hours wanker got him so he sucks fucking idiot shut the fuck up You know it's the most ungrateful piece of shit job you could ever take and if you're really good if you're really good and you're having the time of your life, you've never done as good commentary, you're still gonna get, he's okay, but he sucks compared to Aris. Lord Aris is the best. And Aris is a wonderful commentator. He's really good. He's not one of my favorites, but I can see absolutely what everyone else sees in him. He's really good. He's very professional. But I, I couldn't think of uh, a more ungrateful position to be in and uh, super hard work with very little pay. No thanks, no thanks. But I, I've done commentary a couple of times and it's very difficult. But it, it's, it's fun for the first hour, but a couple of hours in, it's like, Jesus fucking Christ, can I leave and you guys replace me with a fucking uh, teddy bear or something? A doll? Um, I don't get it. 
Wait, what? Okay, so this is it. Uh, what happened to the match? What? What happened to the match? Oh my God! What um, Jin needs to do to succeed as well, but it's more about the fact that oh Jesus! The so they do actually reset the rounds. Three, one, four, just to close out the round. This way, like I said, you don't have to worry about meter once again. All right, here we go. Final, final round. This is it such this is how bullshit. We ended the last time. These guys are gonna start going into it. Nice block there. I mean, it's no one's fault, I guess, except for the intern uh, working as a stream technician. But this is bullshit. All right, here we go. And again, my God, can you imagine going all the way from fucking Thailand? to the U.S. to nice. play in one of the biggest to to tournaments the of the year and then final the round versus Chanel, one of the best players nice. in the nice. world you're doing really nice. well and then he's signals out Chanel. Chanel really needs this he is down signals out Looking for this opportunity. Nice I mean, can you imagine that happening? Oh man, the demon pop. No, the no mistake of your own. You didn't time. stress. Horse, you didn't low. drop what a combo. You didn't whiff. You didn't do something stupid. Oh, the no, the no signal goes out. Chopping away. Oh my God, he's trying to scum him out on time. There's nothing no, left. No, oh, and he out. takes okay, it. Okay, fine. Done and done. That's gonna be the one. Chanel definitely not happy with that. Book slowing down the pace of that round. Yeah. Taking, he's gonna stay on the winning side, moves to top. Yeah, I can understand Chanel's not happy. Into the loser back into the shark into I mean, no one would be happy with that. That's just super right bullshit. Exactly. And still, or, of course, all coming all the way from Korea and to have that happen. We're getting it down to top eight today. This is Do they apologize, the commentators, for that? Or? Orlando, even oh, though we're yes. in Daytona. Oh, God, no, we just continue. A master's level event and I mean, why would you want to focus on Japan. that? I don't think tor tournament, organi tournament organizers want you to keep talking about the probably biggest fuck fuck up this year. You know how it's so difficult. You get guys like that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. And like I said before, man, some of these matches you're not going to see at any other. Like it's so crazy. It's a problem because we can't. I feel bad we for Book and Chanel. We don't have enough time in the day. So but Chanel still had an amazing after, tournament, so he re absolutely after, recovered from that. The ruler beat Low High in turn. He goes to lose his side. Low High. But has uh, yeah, that was stressful. That was stressful. Poor guys. Poor guys. Out of the tournament, got a little 